welcome back. Um, we're going to do another differential equation problem. This one, differential or, or um, separable equations. This one is going to be dy over dx equals x squared plus 1 over x squared times 3y squared plus 1. So the first step whenever we have a differential equation or separable equation problem is to separate the variables. Um, we have y's and x's in this equation. We need to get y's on one side and x's on the other side. So um, the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and multiply both sides by 3y squared plus 1, which is going to cancel 3y squared plus 1 on this side and add it to the numerator over here. So that's going to look like... Um, that's going to look like this, 3y squared plus 1 dy over dx equals x squared plus 1 over x squared. Then um, we are going to multiply both sides by dx, which is going to get rid of it over here, and add it to the numerator over here, which looks like 3y squared plus 1 dy equals um, x squared plus 1 over x squared dx. Okay, so now that we've separated the variables onto either side of the equation, we have all the y's over here, we've got all the x's over here, we need to uh, take the integral of both sides separately. So let's, um, the first thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and um, and change this, I'm going to need to do some work over here on the x side so that we can get it into a form where we, where we can more easily take the integral. So let's just work on this side right now. Um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and simplify this. And the way that we're going to do that is say uh, x squared plus 1, which is the top, and then I'm going to move the x squared from the bottom to the top um, by changing the sign on the exponent from a positive to a negative, which you can do. So, so I simplified this, and then I'm going to actually go ahead and multiply these together. So the way that you do that, um, I'm going to basically distribute the x to the negative 2. I'm going to multiply it by the x squared and then by the 1. So x squared times x to the negative 2, when you are multiplying like terms, in other words, we're multiplying x by x with an exponent, you add the exponent. So we're going to add 2 and negative 2. So this will actually simplify to x to the 0 because 2 plus negative 2 is 0. So we have x to the 0 and then plus 1 times x to the negative 2 is just x to the negative 2. So once we've got this, um, we can simplify further. Um, anything raised to 0 as the exponent is 1. It doesn't matter what it is. So x to the 0 is going to be 1. So let's go ahead and say that. 1 plus, and then x to the negative 2, um, we can actually go ahead and leave that as it is. So let's say x to the negative 2. So I've now simplified that side of, of, the, um, of the equation, so I'm going to go ahead and integrate. So, so the integration is going to look like this. The integral of 3y squared plus 1 dy equals the integral of um, and then remember I took this, uh, this part here and simplified it into 1 plus x to the negative 2. So I'm going to say 1 plus x to the negative 2 dx. Okay, so, so this is what we've done to simplify to the point where we can take the integral. So now we need to take the integral term by term. So we're going to start with 3y squared. Um, we add 1 to the exponents, first thing we always do. So y 2 plus 1 is 3, and then we divide the coefficient by the new exponent. So 3 divided by 3 is just 1, so we would write 1 here, but since 1 is just implied, we can just go ahead and leave it off. So y to the 3, and then uh, the integral of 1, since we're on this side and we've got all y's, is just y. So that is, um, we've, gone, we've taken the integral of this side, now we can go ahead and um, and add and uh, take the integral of, of the x side. So the integral of 1 is just x, 
and then um, the integral of x to the negative 2, we add 1 to the exponent, so um, that's going to be negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, so that's x to the negative 1, and then we, um, remember, divide the coefficient, which is an implied 1 here, by the new exponent, which is negative 1. So 1 divided by negative 1 is a negative 1. So I'm going to go ahead and write that negative sign there. And then we just need to simplify this. So that's going to look like y to the third plus y equals um, x. And then since this is plus a negative, that's just minus. And just like um, when we moved here, we took this x squared on the bottom and we moved it to the top by flipping the sign on the exponent. Here we're going to take this x to the negative 1 and move it from the top to the bottom so that we can make the exponent positive. So that's going to be minus 1 over x. And I leave off the 1 here because it's, it's just implied. We went ahead and made that, that exponent um, instead of a negative. We made it a positive and moved it to the bottom. So normally, um, after we've taken the integral, what we would do is go ahead and solve this equation for y. Um, we, would get, we would get something in the form of y equals and then um, you know something uh, with x's on this side. But because we have y cubed plus y over here, we can't simplify that any further. We can't, um, we can't get y by itself. If we needed to get y by itself, we would have to subtract y cubed from both sides and then we'd have, we'd have y on this side the variables we would be mixed and we wouldn't actually be able to, to go any further with that. So this is the furthest that we can take this equation and, and the way that you can test for that is if you can't simplify the side any further or you can't get, you can't get y by itself just like this in, in the form of y equals, if you can't get to here um, or get closer to here, you know that you're done. And since um, we, can't, we can't get to y equals something with x's, from this point in the equation, we know that we're done and that this is the answer. All we have to do now is to the x side of the equation add c because um, when we take the integral, you, you remember we always have to add c to account for a constant that may have been there. Um, so we, we go ahead, we finish the problem and then we, um, we tack c onto the end to account for that constant. Um, and it's, it's kind of like a placeholder. It always goes with the x's on this side. So, um, so we have the y's over here, we added the c, and, um, and this ends up being our final answer here.